So I need to sit down, you know, make it quick, you know, what, what questions do you have on your mind? Yeah. I want to take some rest, yeah? You're just sitting around, you know, huh? watching the monkey in the zoo, huh? <laughs> Personal questions, welcome. If you have questions, now is the time to answer. If you don't have questions, I go and, and rest. Yeah? Yeah? I mean, do I have to look? You know, I still yeah. have ears, you know. That's <laughs> when we practice mental meditation, yeah. the Yeah. How do you practice meta meditation? How do we practice? Uh, setting before we all personal, yeah. So you just practice. imagine? Yeah, visualize the person. Yeah. And then? One particular person is sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And then? What do you do? What do I do? Just repeat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So for the person actually feel the, the, the loving kindness that uh, we are sending out. Why do you want to know? I need to know. Otherwise, how, how, how the benefit felt? Do I change I mean, if, yeah, if the person has the karma to receive the matter, you know he will receive it. No matter if he's aware of it or not aware of it. I mean, if he's in a state where you can't receive it, yeah? <clears throat> I mean, if you if you call your friend, you know, and, and she doesn't go on to the phone, yeah? <laughs> and you leave a message, you know, whenever she has time, she will receive the message, no? If she don't care to listen to the messages, then she won't receive it. Because sometimes, sometimes I feel like, all of a sudden, very happy, very joyful, but I don't know if somebody is very dating yeah. to me at the moment. Yeah? That's fine? Fine. Right. If somebody is sending metta to me at that moment. <laughs> no. Just, yeah, I mean, this has nothing to do with metta. What is metta? Oh. Huh? Metta is loving kindness. You can't yes. radiate it, yeah? Like people, you know, try to imagine. That's not matter, you know, that's our imagination of matter. Yeah? I mean, from our heart, matter has to come from our heart. Yeah? So, I mean, wishing them well, you know, that's fine. Right? And then, you know, I mean, offering them to take part in the matter that resides in our heart. Yeah? That's the way, that's a proper way to do it. And also we know about the benefits of uh, practicing metta. Uh -huh. Aha, so that's why you do it. Yeah. Well, that's not really metta. <laughs> <laughs> metta doesn't wish for anything, it just wishes to give. Yeah? Wish the person wishes to give. Yeah, I mean you just wish oh. this person to be happy, yeah? But you know, try you know, try to to yeah, to give your what is it, you know, your next president matter? Yeah? That's difficult. <laughs> then then you, you don't really have matter. Matter doesn't care, you know, what person it is. I mean matter, you know, has nothing to do with likes and dislikes. We only like to give matter to the people we like. Huh? Yeah. But then you know meditation and the teacher will say uh, you, you say the four verses to yourself may I be well and happy, yeah. may I be free from suffering, yeah. may I be so and so be free from yeah. happy, so and so. So if it doesn't radiate to the person and to yourself, then what's the use of the meta meditation? Mm -hmm. What's the use of, 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 of when what? The topic is verbal, it's verbal. You say be so and so, no. be well and happy, be so and so be free no. from suffering. Well the fellow received that. That, that of course, he's a receiver if he, you know, if he has an open ear for it. Tunes into the right frequency. 
<laughs> no, it has nothing to do with it. I mean, you think, you know, you think in terms of, you know, I mean, you, you go to a person and give him, you know, a hundred ricket, you know. If that person is not at home, you know, and you just put it in the mailbox. That's what you're afraid of. Matter is not <laughs> never getting lost, merit is never getting lost. If you give it to that person, you know, he will receive it when the moment he is he's able to receive it. But you think, you know, I mean, <clears throat> you, you instantly, you know, I mean, you sit in meditation and instantly want results. Mm -hmm. it, meta meditation is not about res results. It's giving more. It's giving. It's giving. giving. Just give. We also give to the person we dislike. What? We also give to the person whom we don't like. Yes. yes. Because that is true meta. The other thing is just likes. Huh? Yeah. The Buddha, the Buddha mentioned about Metta yeah. as all beings yes. without exception. That's right. So we kind of like personalize it to our dog, our cat, our yeah. mother. Of course, the people we like, that is not Metta. Yeah. I mean, if you realize what is Metta, you know, it is in your heart. You know, I mean, you don't have any access to your heart. That's why everything goes over your mind, yeah? You try to rationalize it, yeah? And that's where it goes wrong. Matter comes from the heart and goes to the heart, yeah? And when you realize the truth about our being, you know, I mean, every being is part of you. I mean, you're the same substance, yeah? Just because they're different water drops, you know, and you don't, you don't like the big ones, you know, you just like the small ones, doesn't mean that the essence of this big water drop is not the same essence as you. Got it? You don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's a problem about the truth, you know. We want to hear the truth, but we don't like it, you know, because we like certain people, yeah? But that is likes and dislikes, you know, that's greed and hatred. And that greed and hatred makes us turn around and turn around and turn around. <laughs> I mean, if, you know, if you really care about people, then you have to care about everybody, no matter what he does. That doesn't mean that we have to value, you know, that we, we find it good what, you know, what your president is doing, yeah? But he still is a person, you know, he has received, you know, the benefits of a human birth. And, and if you read the suttas, I mean, you find the Buddha talking about the same thing. Every person has some good sides, yeah? Even if you can't find some good sides, you know, because he's a person, you know, that's, yeah, what you can respect him for. But you only choose to respect people that you like and you disrespect people that you don't like. What is that? Yeah? That's great and hey. Huh? Yes, it is the kindness and compassion that nobody understands, you know. Yeah? It is the kindness of a, you know, of a teacher who constantly scolds you when you do wrong. Yeah? You hear that? Yeah? I mean, the teacher is kind of, oh, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good, you know, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I mean, everything is fine, everything is fine. You don't progress in your, yeah. on your path. And what did the Lord Buddha say about that? Leave that teacher. <laughs> Go to somebody who is rough. Yeah? And if he kicks you out, what should you do? Crawl back to him. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and this is what we don't as Westerners, you know, or any kind of people don't like. Yeah? We don't like to be scolded. Yeah? But we need to be scolded. Yeah? It's not, really, it's not scolding you, it's scolding the kilesas that take over you. That are obnoxious, you know, that lead you to hell. And then lead you to this state and that state, yeah? If you're not scolded, you know, I mean, how do you know? Everybody says, oh, you put this here, fine, everything is okay, you know. And then, you know, and then at the end of your death, you know, you suddenly go to hell and say, how did I come to hell? I'm a Buddhist. 
Yeah. Huh? I've been feeling good all this while. <coughs> It's your choice, yeah? <clears throat> it's so true, um, Ajahn. Uh, uh, everyone is just saying it's true. We always go to uh, places uh, to listen to the Dharma, uh, to learn the Dharma or to feel good factor. That feel good factor is so dangerous yeah. that we're not even aware until someone says that what to do now. It's a feel good factor that many of us go for that purpose. Most of you go. <laughs> I mean, you do three treats, you know, you feel also good, you know, and then you come, you come back home, you know, and, and one day later, you know, you're in the same shithole. <laughs> 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 What's the purpose of that retreat? Get, <laughs> get out, yeah? Get out of the shithole. Yeah? And then somebody has to tell you, hey, this shithole stinks. Um, you haven't smelled that before, yeah? And then of course you don't like it, you know? Because you think it's perfume. <laughs> have you seen dogs, you know? I mean, we have quite a few dogs, you know, the, the moment you wash them, I mean, they, they look for shit, you know, where they can wrap them in. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Because they think it's perfume. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's the same with you, yeah? No, you can share merit with anybody, you know. Just do it. Intention is that what receives, yeah? The intention goes any place, you know. No matter if it is the hell or if it is the heaven. It's the one language every being understands. Words, other people might not understand. But if you really have the intention to wish somebody well, or take, share, take a share in your merit, this person will receive it. Yeah. Got it? But if this person doesn't have it, you know, if you share marriage, it is just like, you know, Western Union, yeah? You send that person money, and the moment, you know, he, he has the ability to go to the bank, you know, to cash it in, then he gets it. So it's the timing of that person. It's the timing of that person. Because some people, you know, in certain states they cannot receive that merit. But the moment they come to a certain stage, yeah, in their development, that's where they can take hold of the merit, yeah. Just like my father was enough, he was a very good man, but you know, he, he had some faults, you know. And then, after his death, he was disappeared for ten years, yeah, in hell. So he couldn't receive anything. But the moment he came back, you know, I saw him. Ah, okay. Here. Yeah. Okay. So is it written to sender and just unknown? Yeah, there is no unknown. Mm -hmm. There is no unknown so address. Whatever meta which goes out, it will reach... It will reach 100% At the right condition or the right time. That's right. So, so in the meantime, when you send out the meta, for example, your father, Mm -hmm. Ten years he couldn't reach it because he's yeah. somewhere else. So the meta they send out, he couldn't reach it. He cannot receive it. Then it will be stored up in somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then when he come out... That's just like, you know, you put your, your money, money, money on the bank. You will yeah. store up there. Yeah. Then when yeah. he come out, all the things yeah. will be back to him. Oh, Western Union. Western <laughs> <laughs> or you put, you know, for your child, you know, some parents yeah, yeah. for your child, same, put it every, every, you know, every month, ten rickets, ten rickets, you know. And then the moment, you know, the child is 18 years old, you can take it. It's so true, yeah. It's just like sometimes... Nothing gets lost in this universe. That's a bad thing about it. Because our bad karma doesn't get lost. <laughs> we still have to, yeah, take care of it. But it's also good, you know, because our good karma doesn't get lost. I mean, sorry, you know, to, 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 to speak the truth, but that's how it is, you know. You have to understand how the world evolves, you know, and then you can tell, yeah. I'm not making people, you know, I mean, oh yeah, everything is good. It doesn't matter if you're Buddhist or if you're Christian or if you're Muslim or Hindu. I mean, it doesn't really matter what kind of religion you have. 
The principle is all the same. Yeah? It's a person. Yeah? The question that I asked you, yeah? Are you a human being? Yeah? Or are you a robot? Yeah? Then, then get yourself, you know, to become a human being. That's the important thing, you yeah? know? Reflection. Huh? Why I'm doing the things that I'm doing with what kind of results? Yeah? And how do I feel? If I do good, I always feel good. So if you, you know, if you wish other people well, you always feel good. If you think about uh, giving something to somebody, you feel good. How can you feel bad? When you should receive something, you feel good. Yeah? But if you do it, think about doing something bad to somebody, you feel bad. When you do it, you feel even worse. Yeah? And when you get it back, you feel a... Yeah? You feel great? No. So three merits, you know, three merits and just one deed. Yeah? Doing good, you know, gives you three times good result. Doing bad gives you three times bad result. What about the other option of not doing good or not doing bad? Like example, you can't do that. Example, like we can see corruption happening in your office, in your country, <coughs> everywhere. But you're neither doing good nor you're doing bad. You're just like sitting and watching. So what's the What's the take on this? Well, you have to look in your heart what you think about this. I mean, because there are dislikes and likes, you know? And then you say, I don't care. And I don't care is not the right attitude. Yeah. Right. So, so, like, uh, most of us are... Probably... It doesn't, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean we need to do any actions, yeah? But we need to stay, stay clear of all these things that are happening within the office, yeah? And if you think, if you see it affects us, our state of mind, then we should choose another place. And if, we, if in the next place the same thing happens, then we should reflect about our karma. Yeah? That we have created to be, to be born or to, to always get into these situations. Yeah? <laughs> because, you know, I mean, it cannot be something else. You can try it three times, you know, to change, yeah? <laughs> and if the third time it happens, you know, then accept it, you know, as your kind of karma. Very good question. Yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> because, you see, yeah, through my own experience, my neighbor, I have three neighbors. Each neighbor always caused a lot of problems to me, it's just that I But finally, after staying for a few years, they caused problems, they move out. They themselves move out, so the house will move out. Come another neighbor. I have the same of uh, different problem, yeah, yeah. Different, different problem. You can do it. Other, 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 other sort of problem caused by the neighbor. So angry, but try to send them out. But after three, four years they stay there, they sold the house and move out. Third neighbor, same thing. And then finally they went off. So I have this new neighbor, which is quite okay so far. And then they have to play same thing. I've been sending men out and does it me, my neighbor, be so number one, we want to be well and happy, be free from something, blah, blah, blah. I did it for one year or so. The fellow said, move up, move up, move up, they move up already. <laughs> so when it happened three times, I was thinking, it's my karma to meet some people to give me a lot of problems. But I said, matter to them, in the end, they move up. Bad. I wish I well, but if I really move out on the other yeah. Yeah, I mean, you will receive it in your next life. Huh? You will receive it in your next life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you will receive it in your next life. Oh. I don't have anything to give. <laughs> yes, in your last life. I don't have anything to give. Yeah. Yes, in your last life. So, this is the last life, life. karma. Yes, it's your karma. Next life, karma, you say. No, next life karma is when everybody wishes you well. <laughs> you want to know? And you are running. No, I wish them well. I don't wish them bad, I wish them well. But after wishing them well, they yeah, say, but what, is, what did you do in your last life? Last life. <laughs> See, only things happen yeah. to you, what you have done, and to others. Yeah, it's what we yeah. Yeah. It's not coincidence, I know. Like and we don't like to be responsible, we just like little kids, you know, running around, playing around, you know, not wanting to take 
the responsibility and you know shoving the responsibility to our parents. Yeah. Huh? They have to take care of us for 18 years, you know. Yeah. Even if it's still, you know, I mean they are responsible for. Yeah. And that's what we love, you know, we never love. Yeah? That's why we are not really human beings, yeah. We don't re take responsibility for our own actions. So to say hello, okay. Yeah. It's my comment, it has to come anyway. I was thinking they give me such a terrible time, they won't move up because they own the house. <laughs> then my friends told me, you die, Christine, they won't move up because they're the owner of the house. So I said I could bear with it. But after a few years they move out. They sold the house and then move on somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. And the next person comes in, you know. And so it's your attitude towards these neighbors, huh? No, we don't talk. So talk as a problem, and then yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's hard to find you know by your likes and dislikes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just like you know, all the problems with your husband. You have a husband, right? no? No. <laughs> your friends? Yeah. <clears throat> Probably that way. <laughs> 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 it's better. It's better that you don't have a husband. Oh. <laughs> Can the cheetah and Kalisas arise at the same time? The cheetah never arises and never dies. It's the Kalisas that arise and die. Yeah? And they change, yeah? And the chitta is in the hands of the kilesas, you know, that's why, you know, when you close your eyes, I mean, they command you around, yeah? I like this, I don't like this, I have to do this, I have to do that, you know, I don't like to do this, I don't like to get up, yeah? I need something to eat, I need something to sleep, you know, they constantly command you around, yeah? If your friend does that, how do you like that? Tell you, you know, now you have to go there. Why do you have to go? Because I tell you, you know, it's you, yeah? you have to go. I mean, the moment the Kilesas tell us it's me, you go. I'm tired, you go to sleep. I want to have some fun, you go and have some fun. That's, that's, the, that's the association, you know. The Kilesas, you know, I mean, they are very clever. Yeah? If they are not clever, I mean, we could defeat them instantly. They tell us it's me, and we believe it. <laughs> and they lie to us, even worse, you know, than your president. <laughs> we are so stupid. And we believe it. In German, we have to say, if somebody lies to you three times, you don't believe him, even if he talks about the truth. And our Kilesas, you know, we believe for billions and billions and billions. Because it must be true. You see, the Moise tells us they are bad neighbors. It must be true. <laughs> huh? Whatever they say, we believe it. And that's why, you know, that's why we have to use reflection to understand, you know, how they work. Yeah? Next time, you know, just try it, you know. If they tell you, no, I have to do this, say, okay, go ahead and do it. And I sit here and do meditation. See what they can do? Nothing. They have no power, except for the power of suggestion. They suggest that you are hungry and then you go eat. Yeah? They, just, they suggest that you are tired and you go, you know, and you go to bed. Yeah? But you, who is the CEO of this company? He's fast asleep. <laughs> he signs all the checks. Yes, I'm tired, okay. And then you're tired. If you say, no, I'm not tired, then you're not tired. But you have, you have failed to understand that the, author, that the real authority is somewhere in there and must be awakened. Yeah? He's the one who signs all the checks. And that's why he has to receive all the bad and the good karma that is done through his actions. But he's fast asleep while signing. 
That's why he doesn't know. And that's why he complains when bad things happen to him. But this kalisas that arises without prompting, is it due to the sense contact? I mean, they use the sense contact. The sense contact has nothing to do with, with, with the kalesa. How do we acquire these kalesas? How do you acquire these kalesas? You know? I mean, the question is how do you get rid of these kalesas? I mean, but I mean the is, how do we it, acquire it in open case? If we don't acquire it, we don't have the kalesas to get it all. But then the yeah, I mean, if you don't have kalesas, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people are always ask, you know, how, how they got in this mess, you know, I said, you know, I mean, if you're swimming in the shit hole, yeah, a really big pond, and then you saw, you see somebody walking around there, you know, on, you know, on ground, the first question you ask this person, how did I get up, how did I end up in the shit hole? Huh? You probably ask him, how do I get out? Ajahn, you are such a very sensitive In this chitta, every moment we have a choice. Yeah. The choice is either to do good or to get caught into an evil action. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, Most of the time, you know, there are neutral actions as well, but they are very rare. Yeah. In that neutral action and the uh, extreme of good towards one end and the extreme of evil towards another end, it is actually all to do with cultivation of our mind to see this citta being subdued or being overreacting. Are we I mean, that? What, what you say is not not completely not, not completely untrue. But it's just complicated. I don't like complicated things, you know, I mean, it makes my head spin. I like simple things. I like to watch, you know, and through observing, you know, I understand, yeah? I mean, to, to think about something, you know, I mean, you really don't know, you know, I mean, most of the times, you know, the Kilesas suggest some ideas, you know, that's how it works. But they don't give you the solution of how to get rid of them. The Dhamma. the Dhamma is there in the heart, the Kilesas are there in the heart, yeah? And one sits on the throne, yeah? That's Lutta Mahavur, yeah? And whoever sits on the throne has the command of the five Khandas. That's it. And most of the time, like I said, you know, if you're a practitioner, I mean they share the job, yeah? One time he has to say something, the Dhamma has to say something, I want to sit, and then the next moment the clay has come, oh, it's so painful, you know, you get up, yeah? And then you want to sit again, and it's so painful, you get up. Ajahn, I have knee problems. I have a knee Ask yourself, you know, who experiences the pain? The body or you? It's the body. The body does no pain. It's the mind. The mind. The, the, the body doesn't cry. I mean, you can cut up the body, it doesn't mind at all. <laughs> it's a chitta that is attached to this body that mind is pain. Yeah? So. <clears throat> Does you understand? Okay, so let me rest then, yeah? Okay. If you don't have any more questions, yeah?